500 meters. Katarina Carson from Belarus has just opened up clear water here on the uh, chasing pack. You can see in lane number four, uh, Germany's Katrin Boron pushing on a hard. It's uh, Belarus, Germany, and the Czech Republic. Into the now uh, 600 meters gone. All these scholars will now just start to sort of let the nerves settle. This is the opening race of 2005. The winter training behind them, the hours and hours, the days and days, all coming into fruition now for this day. You can see the water here. Look at that. That's a Carson there, pushed over by the wind. As we look at it from the right to the left, struggling quite hard there. You can see the breeze on the back of her head as well. I think these conditions really suit this uh, this athlete, Katrina Carsten. She's long, she's quite a cool customer as well. Nothing much really ruffles her. And uh, and as a result, she's in one of the one of the hardest lanes as in conditions. And, uh, and, and she's just going really from strength to strength. I've seen her sort of walking around. I've seen her competing in the, the heats in the semi-finals. And, uh, and I'm sure she'll be glad to know that the reigning Olympic champion Don Porowski from Germany has now retired, so I'm sure she's in it for another four years. Uh, these athletes at this kind of level don't take up from year to year. You know, they take it up for a full Olympiad, and, uh, and I'm sure Katarina uh, Karsten is uh, thinking, right, this time, this is my Olympiad, and I'm going to get this Olympic gold medal. Katarina Carson from Belarus in lane number three. Two-time Olympic champion, Atlanta in 1996, Sydney in 2000. She is the silver medalist from Athens last year. She's long and strong and right on top of it now as we pan back and we can just see the gap now opening up here. Germany's Katrin Boron in lane number six comfortably in the silver medal position here, but the Czech Republic's Mirka Napkova, who finished fourth in this event in Athens last year, is not a scholar to be ruled out. Coming up now to the next timing mark, and we'll really sort of get a, a good span across them. We're a 1,000 metres down. We're at the halfway mark. The uh, double Olympic champion from Atlanta and Sydney, Katarina Carson, has got the uh, very strong position to be able to look back here. But with single sculling, it could all go wrong in a, just a stroke, because look at the water here, Gillian, in, in this um, third 500 meters. You can just see the water now flipping up. They've got to be clean as they get the blade out of the water. One bad clip oh, yeah. slows the boat it's down. Definitely, in rowing, you know, we look for the flattest possible conditions. So I'm sure you can gather from what we're seeing, these aren't particularly ideal conditions. In fact, my eye was just looking down at the bottom of the screen there to see where Debbie Flood is. And uh, she's crossed the halfway point, a good 20 seconds behind this girl here. And uh, so I, I guess this just goes to show how difficult it is. De Debbie is a very, very confident scholar. She's um, she's in this event, Gary. She's just finished her finals at Reading University in sci uh, physiology and biochemistry. Um, I'm sure she'll be looking at some point in this season to uh, jump into the quad again. You know, I, I see Debbie more as a, a crew scholar than a single scholar, so she won't be having a good time out here at all. Poor, poor girl. So, Katarina Carson. Just leading. She's sculling quite comfortably now. She's down on about 32, 31 strokes per minute. She's really enjoying this. You can see out front here. Now this is slight. I have to say this, with all due respect. This is this is slight lane. In fact, quite lane orientated here in terms of her position. She shouldn't be this far out. I mean, there's no way at this stage of the year that um, Carson is a good 20 seconds ahead of Debbie Flood from Great Britain at Boy, the halfway mark. I mean, absolutely, absolutely. And as we were saying earlier on, uh, Katrin Boron from Germany in lane six, on uh, the lane more sheltered from the wind. Uh, again, she's, you know, she was one of the slowest qualifiers to get into this final, and here she is in, in second place. So it just, you know, that's a reflection really on, uh, on the conditions. 500 meters now remain in the final of the women's single skull here, the opening uh, regatta of the 2005 Bearing Point Rowing World Cup Series. The double Olympic champion from Atlanta and Sydney, Katarina Carson from Belarus, has pretty much led from the first stroke here. Quite difficult conditions, reasonably unfair. Belarus in lane number three, Great Britain's Debbie Flood in lane number one got dropped out of the pack in the first uh, ten strokes and really has struggled since then. But a lane order, Great Britain in lane number one, 
they, she would be at the top of your picture if we saw her coming down. France in two, Belarus in three, the Czech Republic in four, Russia in five, and Germany's Katrin Boron in lane at number six, four times Olympic champion in crew boats. I think today is going to be, for all crews, today is going to be about tactics off the start. Uh, you know, if you're, if you're drawn in one of the outside lanes, one of the unfavoured lanes, then you're going to have to show all your cards in the first 500, the first 1,000 metres, and then take the race from there on in, because it, it's just, I think, sort of any race plan that you have had up your sleeve all week has just gone out the window, and you just have to go for it in this first 250, first 500 metres in order to get your nose in front at some point. Gillian, just telling you, looking at the splits through the 1,500 metre mark, uh, Debbie flood was 35 seconds down on the Katarina Carson. I mean, it's just it's just unheard, isn't it, really? Well, it is, and it's one of those things that once you once you get caught up in a bad lane, you know, you, you start to catch crabs. The whole technique what thing. What do you do? What is you know when you get into this is her opening regatta for a big year here. She gets into the first 10 strokes and she's just down. But looking out front, the Katarina Carson from Belarus comes up to the line here in the opening uh, race, the opening round of the 2005 Rowing World Cup Series. She wins in first place. Czech Republic's Mirka Napkova gets the silver medal. And from Germany, Katrin Boron, the four-time Olympic champion, gets the bronze medal. Look at the spread as we come across here. Over the line, Levina from Russia. Then coming in in fifth place, France's Sophie Balmari. And I have to say to you now that uh, Debbie Flood from Great Britain is just paddling down in the closing 100 metres, getting a great reception from the British crowds across the way, the flags along the side there of the grandstand. But she's resigned to the fact that this has been a pretty unfair course, a very unfair start for her as she comes up to the line. But we're looking at the smiles there of Katarina Catherine, uh, Carson. There's Debbie Flood coming over the line, and it is uh, a full, it'll be at least a minute difference between